to another product test video here on Angry German TV. Today we have the power bank with built-in solar panel from Akeem. Now as always I will leave a product link in the description uh, to Amazon. You can check it out and leave questions you have in the comments below. Now the design. So you probably have already watched some pictures or some other videos online, but if you are an everyday user like me, you always want to just switch between different videos to check out how does it look, how does it feel. So it feels bulky, it feels heavy, it is big, it has a solar panel here, LED light here, which shows you red, blue and white. Blinking means it's charging. Three outlets, so you can charge three different devices at the same time and a micro USB-C cable to charge it. You get one if you order it, but um, I use the one I already have because it's convenient and I don't need so many cables, damn. So the product itself, as I said, it's very heavy, but why? It's because this power bank has 24K micro ampere hours. Now you might say, whoa, that's a, that's a big number, but it says only 22K in the description. Exactly, that's the weird part. It says 22, if you scroll below in Amazon, it says 24, but I have noticed it's more like 20. So um, maybe because I'm an everyday user, I have no idea what I'm talking about and other people will say differently, but I compared three power banks. The Nebulek is not here. Um, this one has 10K, this one has 24 k or 22 as you see it in the name um reality i would say 10 20 why three to four charges for an iphone 7 full charge six to seven charges so i wouldn't say it's 2.4 times the capacity now the seller says it's like eight uh, percent charging speed if you have ideal sunny conditions for the solar panel now by the way, a micro USB C cable. If you charge it with a micro USB C, it's of course 100%. Um, remember, the longer the cable, the slower the charging speed. Um, in the sun, 8%. Charging ideal conditions. Perfect angle, perfect sun, everything is perfect. Now, we won't have that most of the time. So, I would say it's more like 5% if I just. Um, use the information that I have googled. Remember, I'm not a professional, I'm just saying my opinion and how I feel about it. I left it um, behind the window for two, three weeks already. Um, as you can see, it is blinking, so that means it's charging from the window there. Of course, behind the window, the charging speed is even slower. I read somewhere like 30% of the normal speed. To be honest, I don't know if it's charging at all something because I think the LED light might eat all the juice up that I have already charged, but I think it's always funny um, to try things out. So if you guys have an idea how I could check how much the capacity is right now, would be really helpful. But whatever, let's get back to the solar panel. As I have mentioned before, the ideal conditions are directly in the sun with the angle to the sun. Now, that's for solar panels. You see, we have a panel here and we have a battery down below. So a battery should never be left in the sun. For testing purposes, I tested it. I left it in the sun and it got super, super hot very fast. So don't do it. I think it will just ruin your battery. And that's why the seller even says several times, don't use it as a solar charge battery. It's only for emergencies like, damn, my phone is totally empty, just charge it for some hours uh, as an emergency charger so you can make this one call, right? So all in all, it might not be the best option for everyday use, but for emergencies, the solar panel is great. And in general, if you don't mind the heaviness, the bulkiness of this product, for longer trips, the big capacity of it is really great. Um, thank you guys for watching this video. It might be more talking, less showing because the power bank has not much options. But uh, thank you for the 10 subscribers still having them. Uh, I know 10 is not much, but for me, I'm really happy about it. So I'm happy that some people watch my videos and are happy to see them. If you have questions, leave it in the comments. I can answer them as much as I can. Technical specific things you can find in the product description. I'm not qualified to comment them. 
Uh, see you in the next video. Thank you and have a great day. Bye guys.